Hey guys, it's Keith Arkmer Farms. It is second week of March, 2021. Pretty nice out here, about 50, 60 degrees. And today I'm prepping out some field blocks. Uh, I'm gonna do a new one, so I'll kind of show you how to do that. And then also uh, show you the soil test and how I'm fixing it. Got some micronutrient issues as well. But I'm gonna take you out in the field and show you. Okay, so now we're back in the office because now we have to do our calculations from our soil test to determine how much to amend each bed with. I have this soil test, which is the soil from the land that has never had anything done to it. And you can see just right up start, we are low in pH. We're only at 5.7. So we need to add lime to get that up. We can also notice that our magnesium is only at 178 parts per million that should be up around 490 so we're short on that so that makes us go right away to know that we have to use dolomitic lime because it has magnesium in it also we've got another major deficiency which is our phosphate we can correct that with rock phosphate when it comes in but we're not going to be able to do that today i do have enough lime to get these beds in but that's about it now this is just from our state agricultural lab they do a pretty good job. They'll test for all of this stuff, which this one came from uh, Logan's lab. A little pricey. I got four plots done here for $35 and it gave me all the stuff and I could have gotten more, but I just, they didn't understand what I was asking for. As compared to this one, where they're $30 a sample. But this one also does our base saturation rates, which there's science that says that you should be in these and it might work. Other ones say, no, it's not going to work. But it gives you all your regular stuff like the other report does. It gives you uh, your CEC, your pH, which in some of my beds I'm a little high for my initial liming. Also my organic matter. And then your normal stuff going through here. And then we come down to my biggest issue, which are the micronutrients. Particularly my boron manganese copper zinc and sulfur which is up here somewhere are all low they're quite a bit low i've actually have a spreadsheet here that i plug this stuff into and as you can see get it to where i can actually see it there we are that each of these are low if they're a positive number here that's how much per acre they're low. So I mean like zinc is 21 pounds per acre low, copper seven, boron, that's a little closer is two, the manganese is 16, which is quite a bit, sulfur is 62, which is a lot. Um, my magnesium is close, but not bad. But this, this is a plot that was already amended as well. This is plot one. And then the other ones, not bad. We got a lot of calcium out here, which isn't a bad thing. But from this to determine how much we need is a whole different process. So here comes the fun part, which would be doing all of the math. So to start with, here's my notes. We know that our pH from our soil test was 5.7. That's pretty much standard average out here, pH. Where we want to be is more towards about a 6.5. So, my bag of dolomitic lime tells me that I need about 80 pounds per acre to be spread to raise my pH one tenth on the scale. So one tenth pH. So now I just need to figure out how many points I need to go up. Turns out I need to, just one second. 
So it turns out we need to go up 0 0.8 on the pH scale. So that is eight points. So we gotta take our eight points times by 80, which tells us we need to put out 640 pounds of lime per acre to get us up to our ideal range of 6.5. Now, we have to determine how much to put in each bed. We know that my beds, since they are 40 foot long times 2.5 feet wide, which is our 30 inches, that they are 100 square foot on the bed tops. That's not including pathway, that's just bed tops. We're only gonna do the bed tops because that's all I'm really concerned about making the soil perfect in. This is the reason why I chose this size bed is because a 40 foot long bed is 100 square foot. Also, all your materials come in 100 foot lengths, so I have dropped to do 40 foot beds, so I got five foot on each side for plastic or row cover or what have you. So now that we know we have 100 square foot on our beds, we know there's 400 or 4,000, no, 43,560 square feet in an acre and we know our bed is 100 square feet per bed so the square foot goes away and we know that there's 535.6 beds per acre So we know there's 435.6 beds per acre out here. So from our 640 pounds of lime per acre, I'm writing on a crack there, there we go. We divide that by 435.6 beds per acre. Again, the acres cancel out and we are left with 1.5 pounds per bed. So that is what the ideal amendment is according to the bag. I do know it might just be from the fertilizer I add or other things in the soil that in all actuality, I do not need that much lime on my soil to raise the pH. I know that actually just from experience that half of that will work. So that's 0.75 pounds per bed. And I actually cranked that down a little bit lower to about 0.6 pounds per bed. That way if I get, I don't have to worry about getting high. If I'm low, I can correct it just a little bit or just kind of let it settle out, whichever works best. So we know the first part, that's how much lime. And we're using dolomitic lime. Uh, I think that's how it's spelled. We're using dolomitic lime. Now for our other deficiency, which is our micronutrients. I found this product from Western Bioag. They weren't too hot about just selling me one bag, but these percentages happen to actually work almost perfectly with what my deficiencies are when I throw this out as a whole product. You could buy each one of these individually and correct for individual ones. You just gotta be careful not to over apply because some of these get toxic really quickly and you can't get them back out. Others, if you put down too much at one point in time, it'll burn the roots. So again, you have to be very careful. There's also other products from other companies I've found as well. Uh, let's see, Advanced Turf and Lawn out of Kansas City carries one that's similar in this. The only thing it didn't have in it was the boron. And the percentages were just a little bit different, more tailored towards our environment around here because that's what they stock here for that purpose. But this is only suggested to go on the field at 25 to 75 pounds per acre. So again, we start out and we do the math. We do 25 pounds per acre. And we divide that by 435.6 beds per acre. 
And that tells me, keep writing in the cracks on this desk. Okay, there's cracks. That tells me that we need 0 0.057 pounds per bed, which that's a really hard number to figure out until you convert it over into ounces. There's 16 ounces in one pound, one LB, there we go. So the pounds go away, we're left with ounces per bed, and that is about one ounce per bed. This is a minuscule amount. And a regular like 16 ounce cup is like that much after spread across 40 feet, which is virtually impossible. So what I figured out is that if I use my drop seeder and don't open it, it'll actually drop right about 2.4 ounces per bed. To do this, I actually laid down a piece of plastic on the bed when it wasn't windy. You can also do it in a garage or somewhere else. And then I rolled the uh, drop spreader across and then scooped up everything and weighed it. And that's how I know that it dropped about 2.4 ounces per bed. I did that a couple times and that's kind of the average I ended up with. So at 25 pounds per acre, it's one ounce. We're getting more than that. So since it's simple one ounce, we can just take this times 25 pounds per acre to know what we're actually dropping on the field. And that gives us 60 pounds per acre is what we're dropping of the micronutrient. That is within our 25 to 75. Getting close to the top number. All the people I talked to at the place told me not to do over 25 pounds per acre. But I think that has also to do with the fact that a lot of them are using big giant cone spreaders and other things like that and you get overlaps so you know you run your cone spreader down and it spreads so there's perfect 25 pounds per acre in that swath but then you turn around and you get just a little bit too close here and all of a sudden and they're overlapping so now really quickly you now have 50 pounds per acre and this little swath right through here so that gets up near the top of the scale and then say you slow down through here to here and it goes up, you very quickly get up to 100 pounds per acre with your double pass there. So very quickly you can go over. With the little drop seater and the small one bed at a time, it shouldn't be as much of a problem, but again, we will find out. Now, the real fancy thing was that spreadsheet I showed you earlier, where it actually does the math for you. I did not actually create this. I got this from the Lettuce Masterclass with Ray Tyler. Michael Kilpatrick has the same thing in his Small Farm University. It's originally made by Richard Hansen with input from Michael Kilpatrick. But it is very nice because you can just tinker around with the numbers and it spits you out results. You know, good, still needs more. So this is where my microhume is. And at a half of a pound per acre, I get close and I do achieve some on some of the micronutrients, which I'm still short a little bit. But right now I'm only adding about two and a half ounces, which is half that rate right there. But that is all they can tell me I can add at once. So I'm going to have to do that in two applications at least, maybe three over the years. But for the first year now, we're just going to do the one. I'll test again in fall, see where we're at, and then go from there. Okay, so that's the fun with math for today. Now, let me show you what that all means. Now, they do have uh, online calculators that you can use to determine pounds per acre of you know what you're putting out, depending on the percentage of what is in the mix you're using. Like uh, Fertilizer 855's got 8% nitrogen, per pound of mix. So you use that and you determine how many pounds per acre of nitrogen you want, which determines how many pounds of mix you put out. But this is the way you do it out in the field. So we got our bag. This happens to be the type of lime I use. Been using it for years. Get it from our local nursery. Does real good. It doesn't matter what kind you get as long as it's still in there. Uh, gypsum 
has lime and sulfur in it. It won't do anything to your pH. It just adds minerals, but we want to get the pH to go up. So, get a little scale. Get it turned on here real quick. Put our cup in. We'll zero it. This is actually the cup that makes the farm go around. So you can see it's got all my measurements on it. They're actually engraved into the cup and then written on there. We got fertilizer, we've got lime. We also have phosphate on here somewhere, which is hidden up there. But this is how I know how much to put on in the field. So we are aiming for about 0.6, which I can do it the easy way and cheat. And look on the side of the cup because I know where the mark's at. Put it on a scale. We're right about 10 ounces, which is about 0.6 pounds, roughly. Uh, 12 ounces would be roughly uh, three quarters of a pound. So I try to stay under that three quarters of a pound mark. But for that, I just measure it once, put a tick mark on it, and that's what I go off of. So now that we know that, we're ready to go out in the field and start spreading lime. So now comes the uh, fun part of spreading this little bit over the field. So what I found best, myself a little coffee can because it's easy to hold on to. I fill it with my mineral and then I fill my cup. Get it up to the line where I want it. A little bit less. There we go. And then I carry this with me. That way I don't have to come back and fetch another cup from the bag that's sitting next to me every time I need more mineral. So to go, you get pretty good at shaking this out. You just walk and kind of shake it as you go. I'll go back and forth. I'm going to do these four beds behind me real quick. Now, like I said, if you do this a couple times, you get pretty good at it. Like I camp a little short there. This first one was perfect. The one next to me over here, I said you get just a little bit more, but we're just trying to go for an average pH, not perfect across the whole entire field. Okay, now we got that done. I'll go up and get the uh, drop spreader and get ready to start spreading the uh, microhume out there. So, here's my micronutrient mineral. It's just regular prill, easy to broadcast. One thing you gotta be careful with, you don't wanna spill it anywhere because it gets up to too high of a level very quickly. We're gonna use our drop spreader behind us. It's got controls to go open and close. Fertilizer drops down. Everything so far I found out is all the way up. So it still is able to come out the bottom. It's got a hopper that rotates here that agitates it so it falls out. Um, what I found best, just to load it up and then just start to go at it. Because as soon as I load it up, if I move any at all, it'll start actually dropping out of there. So we'll make one pass per bed so we'll go down and back and we'll run out this whole entire plot because I know this whole entire plot and basically the whole entire farm needs this. So I've been doing this to all the beds here today. And yes, I know I was walking across the top of the beds there. The reason I'm not too concerned about that right now is because I just had to do a deep cultivation on them 
to get work in the initial beds down there at the end. And I'm gonna have to do another deep cultivation with the tiller to work in this micronutrient and the lime. So I'll be tilling through here hard again. And then I'm gonna run the uh, two rippers on the back of the tractor, like in the last video, uh, the one where I was replacing the broad fork with. And then I'll come through and we'll do bed prep and do a shallow till where we'll just prepare the seed bed, which will only be that far. So, hope you all like what you saw today. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all. Have a good day.